Notifications are on, so today, down and put, she's back, Miss Precious London. Yes, and she's modeling. So, we're gonna show you guys how to replace the frontal of an old wig and how to do the ball cap method with something other than that cap for the beauty supply store. So, if that's something you would like to see, make sure you continue watching. Follow her at Precious London. And without further ado, let's get to it. This way. All right, so first things first, we're going in with some tweezers and scissors to go ahead and cut the frontal, the old frontal off of this unit. Everybody constructs theirs a little bit differently. For me, I construct my units on the sewing machine, so you can definitely tell the thread difference from the sewing machine versus the handmade. And I leave a little bit of access cap there so that you can replace it. So, um, and just going in and cutting that off and it's easier because i just sew onto the cap i didn't sew onto the tracks so bam got this old raggedy frontal you know it's actually you can still really reuse this but we're just gonna go ahead and put a fresh transparent frontal from raw hair don't care on this unit okay all right so you're just gonna pin it to um, the mannequin head i switch mannequin heads because this one's a little bit bigger going in with the tweezers to take off any excess thread that was on there. This is the new frontal. I've already gone ahead and bleached the knots. I'm just placing it on the mannequin so I can plait up both sides to make sure the hair is out of the way. I'm gonna do that on both sides and um, it'll make it easier to sew without the hair getting caught in. So once you're done doing that, you're gonna um, align it according to the middle part and then clip the frontal alongside where it's going to be sewn and then you just start sewing i always start from the middle halfway point and do the, the you know one side and then i'll go back and do the other side um it's just more convenient that way so um close stitches take your time with this you don't want your frontal to be bulky so do close stitches and then when you get to the end, you're gonna knot it three or four times. And again, we're just gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. And voila! Now you have a new frontal. That's dang near a brand new wig. So we're gonna go in and now we're going to customize this hairline because as you can see, there's a big old line of demarcation. So what I do is I take small parts, pluck, 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 and I just keep going back. And then I'll check it every now and then to make sure that um, line is very seamless. But I just do that throughout the whole process. Plucking, plucking, plucking. Don't over pluck, take your time. And so you can definitely see the difference in this section. When I comb it back, look how natural and gradual that hairline is at that part compared to here. Nice, here, you can definitely see that line there. So a lot of people put their frontals on and they don't take this extra step and it just makes the hairline look crazy. So this is considered pre-plucked and it's still not to my liking. So I go in and do that to the whole thing. Now we got a new ball cap map and I'm not using the beauty supply. I got this from Walgreens. They're little stockings. You can get three of them for $2. They come in tan and they come in white. The tan was a little bit too dark for me and her. So I get the white one. So I just have a clean base and I can make it any color I want. So you cut off the little ring around it and then it'll fit on your head. It's very, very thin. I'm going in with the got to be spray and, you know, some foundation. And, you know, I'm going to cover the side parts and the middle part because that's where she'll be parting it at. And uh, you're just going to cut off all of that excess cap. 
And I like to put the wig on to measure, to make sure like it's either too far up or whatever, how much more of the cap I need to cut off. So that's what I'm doing here. And now I'm going in with the pressing comb because these frontals, this hair be in all type of different directions. And if you think you're just about to put it on and it's going to be flat boot, no, it's a process. It is a process. So I literally go in and um, I use some light hairspray. I part it in small sections and individually press it down in the direction I want it to go in. Because if you only do it at the part, it's going to be flat at the part and it's going to be poofy everywhere else. So you gotta really go in and prep it. If you want it to lay flat, you gotta go in there to get it flat, flat. But as you can see, like that, customizing just looks so good. So let me take out this time and let y'all know, I do sell wigs. I do offer a wig making service. So you can send me hair. You can actually get the hair from me as I get all my hair from raw hair don't care. But this is the process. Like I go through and I make it look natural i make sure it's customized and just ready to go for you so that when you get it you can just put it on your head you don't have to do all the work that i'm doing but for y'all who just think you can buy a wig and it's gonna come like that yeah maybe from you know my first wig and the hair companies who do that but well you just buy hair from the stove and it gonna look like this so i did both sides look how natural that is can nobody tell her nothing that's a whole scalp stop playing with her period <laughs> so now she's ready to go on the client um after we go ahead and put the foundation on there this is the tint now i don't know how to tint lace i haven't i haven't experimented with tinting the lace yet so i just go in with a powder foundation i use liquid foundation sometimes but the powder is not as harsh and if you mess up with the color you can fix it easier without having to wash it so I'm going in with the powder foundation to tint the lace to my client's skin tone because this is transparent lace, so it's super white. And then I'm going in with some ghost bond. I'm going to do two layers of that, and then we're going to lay this bad boy. And if you want an extensive tutorial on how I like, you know, slow mo this up and do the layers and stuff, just let me know. I got you. I cut the lace into three sections to make it a little bit easier to lay. So I do the middle first and then I go in and do the sides. So I'm using that comb to press into the, to the um, glue. And then I also still use a little bit of that got to be spray just for the edge part. And now we're going to cut this extra lace off this ear tab. Go in with the glue. It's easier to do it in sections because if you try to do the whole hairline at one time, it'd be dried out and then it don't want to stick. I'm going in and cutting the lace in a zigzag motion. A lot of people use a razor or actual zigzag scissors. I just do it manually. So adding foundation to get the edge of that lace, going in with a little bit of mousse to shape the baby hairs the way that I want them before I mold them down completely. And yeah, this is pretty much my process. You're gonna do the same thing to the other side. And bam, it's late, period. So we're gonna go ahead and mousse it. We're gonna put on more foundation to just blend it in with our skin tone. We're gonna make it flat, flat with the Made by Echo Edge Scarf. You can get yours today for $7. Just hit me up on my EG at, <laughs> hit me up on my IG at Made by Echo. And bam. Melted, period, point blank, melted. 
So now we're gonna go in and we're gonna comb out them curls. Cause you know, who wants uniform curls? Nobody. Nobody. This hair is everything. I will leave the hair information in the description box below because at this moment I can't remember what origin of hair it is, but it is from raw hair don't care. It's probably either like an Indian or a Cambodian. But yeah, that's that raw hair don't care. And this is the finished look, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. My model, Precious London, is killing it, period. And yeah, new frontal, new wig, who this, period. What lace? If you want to book me, you know, <laughs> description box below, period. Again, follow my wig making page at Made by Echo. At Made by Echo. Had to put that watermark on there because people be stealing. Okay? People be stealing. So that was the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, look and learn. Again, if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications, comment down below what you guys thought of this, and maybe next time we'll do the HD lace. But uh, also, if you like the hair, I only get my hair from one place. Right here, don't care. Period. Point blank. Cool. Period. So yeah, love you guys. See you guys next time. Mwah, 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 mwah. Pay.